This is Ailey Levi, and you're tuning to Rhythm and Britain. Hey, it's me, man, John. We're back again with a brand new series called Get to Know. We sit with up and coming R&B artists and talk to them a bit more about their music and about themselves. So we're going to be playing a game called Seven Questions with my boy Eddie right here. So yeah, let's get to know you a bit more, man. So first question. Um, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> um, probably jello fries. Jello fries. Yeah. Hey, my God. Wait, wait. <laughs> are, we, are we doing Ghanaian or Nigerian? Nah, nah, nah. Do it, jello fries. My God. Certified, certified. Yeah. Okay, cool. Come on. If you could perform live with any um, artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Ooh. Only one or...? One. Okay. It could be a group, but it's like... I'm going to say... I'll probably say YMW Melly. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think... <laughs> Where is he? Yeah, no, man. Yeah, probably okay, him cool. still. Oh, okay, cool, man. Yeah, okay. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be sick, yeah, so... Um... I was thinking about him in the back of my head. Um, who was your biggest inspiration in last? Um, I would probably say from when I was growing up, it would be like the likes of like Michael Jackson and all those people. But like now in the new school, it's like it's, it comes into the whole chappy thing that's going on. Yeah. Like the whole young thugs called at YMW many, like I said. Um, but yeah, those are the kind of people I'm, I'm trending with. If, if that makes sense, because yeah, what's trending yeah, right now. Yeah, trending right now, yeah. But um, before, yeah, it's just the R&B scene that we grew up on, like the yeah, Ushers, yeah. the R.K. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? was a bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we grew up on them, innit? Yeah, we can't yeah, say nothing. You stopped, you stopped, you stopped. I, stop, stop, I, I stopped, like, yeah. I stopped myself, innit? So. Okay, I feel you, I feel yeah, you, man. Yeah, um, there, but you know. If you could have any producer to produce one body of work for you, just one producer to produce a body of work for you, Ooh. who would it be? Producer. Producer. Um, that's a good one, you know. I don't know. I don't think about it often. So for now, I'll probably see my boy, our oh, little, you know, I'm saying producer, <laughs> producer, the you know, what I'm saying keep it local, keep in the it building, local. you know, what I'm saying, oh, so now he's he's doing his things, and we and we we do a lot of things at home, like we've got our own setup. Yeah. So now we're just trying to like do our music at home, record. Take it to engineer or any or producer to you know mix and master and engineer from there. Yeah, man. But, you know, you. Yeah, he's doing his thing right now. You know? uh, I feel you, I feel you, man. You, I'll you big him up. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, I feel you. I'll um, big him up. So, what is your um? So it's a difficult one. I like asking artists, but what is the your favorite song you released so far? Weather the storm. Um, the storm my yeah. my first debut single. Um, yes, yeah, my favorite song. You know, okay. it's, it's it's only my I've I've done a release with my friend. I've done a feature with one of my boys. Um, but maybe the storm is my debut single, and yeah, it's my favorite song. I released it first on purpose. You know, yeah. it tells us the story. It tells obviously I don't know how much, what you gathered from it, but it just shows everyone like just who I am. Mm. You know what I'm saying, and what I can do like vocally or or whatever. But yeah, okay, I feel you. I feel you cool. that one. I feel you that one. Um, yeah. if you could have one artist. Um, featuring your next project, who would it be? One artist featuring on my next project? Or in the UK or? Anywhere in the world. Anyone? <laughs> Anywhere in the world. Big or small? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I don't. I, I, Kodak Black, yeah, I'll probably say like Kodak Black. Kodak Black. Yeah, I, I like him too much, you know. <laughs> I mean, I read everything he does, the whole spread thing. <laughs> Just my guy, isn't it? No, he's, you know. Kodak Black makes you cry. Man. Yeah, he's funny. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about nothing. Life, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, so, you know, yeah, probably him. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, man. Okay. Keep it's the trappy a, stuff. Yeah, okay, man. Let's, 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 keep it, let's, let's keep it on this one. Mm. If you were kidnapped, yeah? Hmm? <laughs> <Let's let him laughs> yeah. If you were yeah. kidnapped yeah. and the hostage said, I'll let you go, but you have to recite a full lyric to any song. To any song. So what's the one song you're picking? Neo, so sick. <laughs> I'm bad to that. <laughs> I'll do every single word to that. I got, I got, I got stories about that song. But yeah, you know, it was on my come up, my shy come up days when I was in school, and oh, I used yeah. to sing that song. Like, 
underneath my breath. I wanted certain people to hear, but <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? But that, yeah, probably that song. Okay, yeah. man, that's nice. Off, the, off the tongue, just straight away. So let's first talk about Weather the Storm. So um, I really like it. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's got the fusion of the classic R and B, but the kind of trap soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. what's like your biggest musical influence? Um, at the moment, it's my life. You know, just just trying to unlock memories that I've kind of lost. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like just seeing where I've been and just noticing I've been there and expressing it in my music. Do you understand? Um. But yeah, right now it's just families, the whole, you know, people that are around me. And yeah, it's just the love. The love, I feel you. Yeah, it's just nah. the love, you get me? I get you, man. So let's take it back. So what was like your musical journey before you released that track? Um, yeah, I was in, do you know what it is? Uh, you're right, okay. So I was um, doing a lot of different music before. I was trying to like find my lane, yeah. if, if that makes sense. So I was singing, I was going to the studio with my friends and stuff and like doing hooks here and there. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I always kind of knew my lane. It was just for me to just get used to it and sing it <laughs> and understand it. Um, so, like, with Weather the Storm, it wasn't something I was doing before. So that kind of vibe, the whole smooth um, vibe, I wasn't doing it on a regular basis. But yeah. as soon as I did that, like, I made that song at the beginning of quarantine, like, just by myself. Yeah. The first time I got a laptop, I just, I just put a beat on. I was like, okay. Let me just do some melodies to this. And it was different. And obviously my boy, I lost, the producer I mentioned before. Yeah. Um, he was there as well. And um, we just recorded it and we just recorded melodies. And it, just sound, it sounded different. It was like, oh, this sounds nice. But every time I did it, I felt like I kind of executed what I wanted to do, do you get? And then, yeah, I wrote to it. And then it was like, yeah, it became soulful, innit? You know, but yeah, it's, a, it's just, yeah. Okay, I feel you know. The transition is so yeah, cool, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know what it is this the soulful thing is gonna come out. The whole um, culture side of me is gonna come out. The whole Afrobeat side. I'm Nigerian, by the way, guys. Not you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it's all gonna come out like eventually. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's just me finding my way. That's how it goes in music. A lot of people start off having fans and gaining fans. What they're doing just because they like it. But then as soon as they transition, it's like they're doing different. Yeah, so yeah. what I thought I'll do is like just give them the transition now but let them know the journey in the meanwhile, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my next release will be like, telling you more about me and what I've been through, like how I am, you know what I'm saying? A bit more about my personality, but yeah, it's just, you know, yeah, it's just growth, isn't it? I feel you, man, yeah. growth, especially, cause I remember, I'm, just, I'm a massive fan of Gets, and he was saying, a lot of my fans don't really understand this, yeah. different levels to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you always think of like, the aggression, the aggression yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I, I, that's that's something I want to push in it. The 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 artistic side, you know what I'm saying? That's the only image that I need to push. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My music will do the talking. You understand? Yeah. You hear it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I've been through? Like, yeah. So. Okay, I feel let the music do the talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Like. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, yeah go ahead. so um, in January this year, you dropped the visuals for the song, um, which are hella cold. So what was the concept man. about the video? All right, cool. So um, it was shot in, most of it was shot in Portobello Road um, and Oxford Street as well. Um, with my team, my collective, we all work together. So we do the whole producing side, the creative side to it, the whole directing side. I have my friend Joshua, he's the director of the, the video. Then my manager, Joey, um, you know, they worked on the creative aspect of it. So it's like, it's just a, Obviously, Portobello Road is a long road. It's a market, isn't it? Yeah. And you do it from the beginning to the end. So it's like a... It's pretty much, it's pretty much showing the journey, isn't it? Yeah. And, like, and what I'm talking about and what I'm going through. Um, a lot of people watch the video and they thought, like, the cameraman just came and I was just doing things and he caught it on camera. But obviously, we put a lot of work into that and we did a treatment for it and everything. Um, a couple of my friends were there um, doing like, a couple of acting scenes and things like that. So we made it nice, and obviously I just kept it close to home, innit? Because that's what the music was talking about. Mm. So I brought everyone I needed to bring in it. Even my mum was in it, I brought her in it as well. At the end, some people don't know it was her, they just think it's an auntie, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and yeah, it was just, you know, yeah, it's just showing a journey, innit? It's just what I've been through, and like, when I'm singing my lyrics, you just kind of, I don't know. How I break down my song is like, the first section of my song is like, okay, 
I'm giving you the hook and everything that you need to hear throughout the song, but I'm just showing you a bit of me and then I'll show you where I, like, where I was or where my head was at, do you get it? Mm. And obviously a lot of people can relate to that because a lot of people get stuck, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't have, it's not, every, like, it's not everyone that talks to them or they get a chance to express it, but yeah. in music you can do that, it? Because people are listening. So you're going to show them like, oh, what you're going through and just like, yeah. Okay, I get that. The man. journey of golf. The journey. Yeah. That's <laughs> Again. Respect, no, respect it. Yeah. So, are there any UK R and B artists that you listen to at the moment? Yeah. Okay. UK um, R and B artists. My boy Matt Black. That's my guy. That's my brody from a long time. Um, he's great. He's just got a lot of good music out. Um, I listen to another guy called I think Giovan. Giovan, yeah. Yeah, from Tottenham. Yeah, he's cold. He's, he's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, R&B artists. I know a couple of people that dabble in the R&B um, section of music, yeah. like my friend No Good, things like that. And obviously my the people that I'm with and the people I'm making music with, collective, innit? So yeah. Kelly Coca, um, Arlo's, my wife, um, Levita J, um, and then obviously my body, yeah, my man. manager and Joey. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel, I feel you, man. That's cute. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're just getting it together. Um, I've got a few singles I'm going to release like towards the end of the year. And then obviously, hopefully we're looking to um, work towards the tape as well. That you get to hear all our sounds and see what we've actually been working mm. with. Because obviously we're all going to release our singles and you're going to hear our sounds, but you're going to see how we've really been creating. Yeah, together, group, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, yeah, I feel you, man. So each other. on that note, we're talking about the tape and what's next. So yeah. what's actually next for you for the rest of this year? Right. <clears throat> um, just videos and music, you know, just... Content, innit? That's what they call it. It's content. Content, yeah. content. Just make sure you put out content. But um, yeah, just like a few singles and then towards the end of the, end of the year, the tape. Um, I might look into doing a little small tape for myself as well, like in, in the summer or whatever, if I can. But if not, then we just work towards the end of the year and just keep pushing. Man. Yes, people, we're going to be playing a game. My boy Levi right here. Um, Jump or dump. So, if you don't know the game, basically, we've got two options. Two options with the artists. You've got to jump on the track with one of them. Okay. And the other one, you're going to throw in the bin. Okay, I didn't know it like that. Okay, okay, it's going to be... Yeah. You, have to, <laughs> cool. you have to be heartless in this one. Nah, you be heartless. Cool. Okay, first one. We're going to go straight into it. Michael Jackson or James Brown? Dump. James Brown. Uh, keep with MJ. Okay, keep cool, MJ. cool. Yeah. Honest. Okay, cool. 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 <laughs> Honestly, let's go with yeah. it. Um, Neo or Trey Songs? Ooh. Oh what? Nah, Neo. Neo's my guy, man. You know what it is? I don't. I don't whatever. Like anyone's gonna say Trey Songs, and I know they are. But Neo's my guy. Like he just he made good music and he had a good sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, dump Trey Songs. Yeah. yeah. He's been doing a couple of things on Twitter lately, and <laughs> it's, 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 it's a bit weak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for you, for you. Yeah, keep Neo. I've been hearing a lot about this one. Um, Usher. Or Chris Brown, which one are you choosing to work with? It's a serious one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a world. Um, oh, they both dance, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's X. All right, cool. Let me see the Usher song. It's deep, man. You're thinking it from an artistic point now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's deep. I'll say Chris Brown, you know. Okay, Chris Brown. So, dump Usher. Sorry, I said had to do the thing, but yeah, dump man, man. Chris, Chris Brown can come with the track. Yeah, he can do everything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he yeah, can do. Yeah, he's yeah. got the whole facility. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're gonna go to the ladies over here right now. We've got cool. Sierra or Cassie. Which one you choose? Sierra or Cassie? Keep Cassie. Dump Sierra. Yeah. Wait, wait. What? No, 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 no. That way around. That way around. So keep Sierra. Dump Cassie. Okay. Cassie's not really. Uh, she's, she's yeah. a one-two tune. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. She's not really nice. Uh, Esther's gonna be hating this one, but um. Okay, cool. We're gonna go with um black or six black um or Bryce and Tiller. Which one are you choosing? Oh, that's deep. All right, cool. Because both of them come in that trappy R and B kind of flow. Yeah, because obviously Bryce and Tiller did the trap soul. Yeah. And then Slack's got the new. Ah. Oh. I can't not do evil, and it? that's deep. That's actually a hard one, you know. I like Slack, you know. I like my man. I like him. Um. Deep. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to keep 
or was it jump with, jump. On, with slack slack and then oh no no you know what no 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 slack let me dump slack let me let me dump slack <laughs> keep till yeah till okay till till it's, till it's, till it's surviving yeah okay we're that. gonna go yeah frank ocean or mcgill <laughs> did hard ones hard ones <laughs> Um, keep my girl dumped from Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Janae Aiko or Kalani? Yeah, come on. Um, jump on with Janae Aiko, dump Kalani. Kalani's still new school, big, like, you know what I'm saying? She mm. she bought everything that we needed to that whole, that female scene. Yeah, like I Aiko. fool you. Now we're gonna go with these ones. Tiana Taylor or Ari Lennox? Tiana Taylor. <laughs> yeah, so jump with Tiana Taylor and... Okay, man, that's yeah, fair, yeah. man. That's my... Yeah, you, man. You, 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 <laughs> no one judge me, you get me, just share. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool, okay, I get you, I get you. This has been Get To Know from A. Levi. So see you guys in the next one.